Welcome back to Garden Talk, brought to you by the Penn State Erie County Extension Master Gardeners. I'm your co-host for today, Mike Bailey, along with Ellen DePlacido. Good morning again, Ellen. Good morning. Hey, last time we time kind of talked about, uh, you know, preparing the soil in the spring of your garden. And we, you know, we, you talked about cleaning up and cleaning up and cleaning <laughs> up. And, you know, we talked about the importance of that. You know, but, you know, and then we also talked a couple of times before that about, Organic, organic material, material. Mm-hmm. and the importance of adding that mm-hmm. okay, for the overall health of your soil. Mm-hmm. Keeping your soil healthy, healthy is so very, very mm-hmm. important uh, because half of your plant is below the soil, soil line, isn't it? Okay? Yes, it is. The root structure. Mm-hmm. And that's what's out there gathering minerals, gathering moisture, and gathering everything that plant needs to look beautiful up above. Right, right. And we talk about adding things like Leaves, and leaves, grass clippings, straw. Um, they'll do the job for you. We talked yeah. a little bit about no-till gardening because yeah. you're at the same time adding that organic material that those plants need. Yeah, and some yeah. even mm-hmm. some mushroom compost is, mm-hmm. is ha- mm-hmm. as long as you don't overdo it. Right, just a little. We yeah. used too much one year, and that yeah, was yeah, not yeah. good. You're right, and you, and we also don't necessarily use it each and every year because right. we find found that that actually you Changes. know skewed the pH a little mm-hmm. bit of our soil. So right. you mm-hmm. know you got to kind of be careful. But one of the things we do stay away from, right, is wood material that yeah. has not composted yes mm-hmm. you know freshly wood chips, chips that, that look so nice you would think that'd be beautiful for, for a garden or you know or sawdust, sawdust or something like mm-hmm. that no okay if you put that in your in your garden you know if your vegetable garden it'll tie up all the nutrients okay particularly the nitrogen okay because you know they're going to want to you know work on decomposing that wood that's why you put all those wood chips and that sawdust in a compost pile add a lot of organic material to it some greens and stuff like that Uh to help break that down and then in a a year or two maybe two years maybe even longer (laughs) depending upon how it works okay you can add that material to your to your vegetable garden but when you're starting on a a new garden site say you got a patch of lawn out there Mm -hmm. you can't just till that grass under can you no. Or, mm-hmm. or take a shovel and flip it over in because you'll get grass all year long in that vegetable garden. It'll, it's just going to drive you crazy. So you really kind of need to do one of two different things. You need to Oops. scrape that off the mm-hmm. top, mm-hmm. which is a nightmare because I've done it before. <laughs> yeah, and I go, well, this was stupid. <laughs> <laughs> you know, was, that was mild. Okay. He called himself yeah. stupid. Yeah. I didn't. <laughs> You know, or you can put something over it to smother it. Yeah. Like, I've used garden cloth or cardboard, just taking a cardboard box, and I've done that at home. Yeah. And just lay that over there. And, and that it takes, works. takes mm-hmm. a week or two, right? Yeah. But okay, but if you get out there early enough in the season, mm-hmm. you can do that. You can mm-hmm. suffocate that lawn, mm-hmm. you know, or like, you know, Rick, who's sitting here with us doing the technical component, he mentioned even some, you know, uh, the the... the tar paper cloth that you use on roofs, okay? It's, the word slipped out of my head for a minute there. <laughs> okay. But in that, it keeps out the light, right. and, and it really kind of does a, a wonderful job. Right. So there's mm-hmm. a lot of good materials. You can find some kind of a tarp someplace to do something like that. Mm-hmm. And uh, once it's died off, then you can till it. Mm-hmm. Once it's turned brown, mm-hmm. and, and you got to let it die off. Or for sake of completion, I'm going to mention this, okay? <laughs> and Ellen's over there giving me the hairy eyeball Sorry, again. I'm getting used to it. Okay. <laughs> but, you know, you can use commercial herbicides. And I, I trust Mike because he reads his literature. <laughs> okay. But you got to be very careful mm-hmm. with things like, you know, the typical one that everybody talks about is is Roundup, or the, in, which is in the active ingredient of that is the, the glyphosate. Um you, but you got to be very careful because a little bit of overspray, okay, that's all it takes to kill nearby vegetation, mm-hmm. whether it be additional lawn or whether it be your rose bushes or some other shrubs that are nearby. Do not use that stuff on a windy day. Okay, use it as directed and don't overdo it. Right. Now, mo- that stuff typically breaks down, you know, in 10 days to two weeks under, under decent conditions. And it will not be absorbed by the roots of your plants that you put in there if you use it correctly. Did I say that right? If you use it correctly. correctly. Okay. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I, you know, and so many people do not. Okay? 
you know, you see people out there, they saturate everything. Right. On a windy day, they're spraying. On a, you're <laughs> on a windy day. You don't need to do that. Right. So um, I would prefer that you would use the cardboard or the tarps or the, mm-hmm. the tar paper or, or something like that to, to do that, to kill that off. But uh, I'm... I, I need to be upfront with you if you're going to use the herbicides. Okay, you know, follow the directions. Mm-hmm. Okay. And in the raised beds, if you're going to make a raised beds, we prefer ten you know, inches. Eight, yeah, ten to twelve inches high, yeah. with a good, you know, topsoil mm-hmm. in it. Okay, with a little bit of of compost also. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And one of the things I never did was I never take the sod out of that particular site, and I don't double dig. You know, I've never had a problem with weeds coming up, and I've, we've always had good luck with the garden. So mm-hmm. don't overdo things. Right. Don't kill yourself setting up a garden. <laughs> yes, you're right. So, Ellen, it looks like we've used our time, so okay. we need to sign off for now. Okay? okay. So thank you for listening. Bye-bye. Bye.